Hi everyone. Hope you all are doing well. As part of this session, we will discuss more on Ana SQL. As you all are already aware that ANA SQL is one of the very very important concept which we as a BW on HANA consultant, native on HANA consultant or even if you are a HANA security consultant or even HANA basis consultant we all have to be aware of this part called HANA SQL because with HANA as we are already aware it's a columnar database it come up with its own advantages correct also since it's a database we should be comfortable with the sql which is called as structured query language also right so sql is not something new to sap hana okay it was there from very long time whenever you talk about any other databases like rdbms relational database management system right in all those rdbms database sql is the primary language which is used to query okay query the data so sql is very simple you don't have to think like sql is very complex will i be able to learn all those things okay it is just a language which is used to query the data so if you want to learn or become expert in this sql right you need to know how to ask the question or what are the different ways we you can formulate a question to get a answer okay you need to ask more and more question to the data so that uh, you will get a proper data as part of your sql statement output okay so the main thing is what you need to be good at asking a question or you need to explore data by asking a question okay so this is the main way you can learn sql one more important thing is can a basis consultant can a security consultant can a native ana consultant can easily learn sql Yes, anybody can learn SQL because it's very simple to understand and it is just like a plain English, okay? So, if at all you are already aware of one of the programming language, you can easily learn even this SQL also, but if at all you are not at all aware of any programming language, there's nothing to worry because it is so simple to learn. Only thing is like you need to learn in a systematic fashion, okay? You cannot directly jump into the store procedure or table function. All you have to do is like you have to go from very first statement like select statement how to pull all the data or else how to pull the data by based on a specific condition all those things you have to go step by step okay so before learning sql obviously we'll have something in your mind right what is the actual use of sql why as a technical consultant or native ana consultant i have to learn this sql or why as a bw or ana consultant i have to learn sql why as a uh, end user also I have to learn an sql because SQL is a structured query language. If you are aware of the SQL, obviously you can write an SQL uh, statements and get the uh, output out of uh, the database tables. Okay. So even if you see as a native HANA consultant, if you are creating a calculation view, right? Ultimately, when you do the data preview of that particular calculation view, system internally generate SQL statement, or if it is a you are joining multiple tables and applying couple of filters, right? So system is going to generate complex SQL uh, statement for that uh, calculation view. So obviously in order for you to interpret that, that SQL part, you need to be aware of SQL. Also, as a security consultant, you may have to work on granting some authorization because when you we speak as a SQL uh, or SAP security consultant who is working on a, a HANA part, right? Obviously you need to execute a couple of SQL statement to provide authorization to particular user or assign specific roles or create user itself, right? As a basis consultant, maybe you might be working on the SDA, Smart Data Access or Smart Data Integration. So your job is to replicate data from other database to HANA database and when you replicate the data, obviously you may have to go and check what is the actual number of codes present in the database or what is the progress happening or else if you want to see some particular configuration table entries you can do so provided if you are aware of basic sql okay so as part of this series of videos i will be covering starting from basic sql till the advanced part hopefully you guys will join me in this journey to learn sql and upskill yourself in sql part okay thank you so much guys and have a good one